What's going on, everybody? So today we are summoning. We're going to summon. I don't care. We're going to summon. <laughs> uh, we have the new Miracle Wish event active. I got 66 Miracle Wishes because I haven't summoned since the Nicholas. Um, I believe I'm myself over here so you guys can see a little bit better. But uh, in terms of wish up here, what do we got? Well, we got the Poison Squad, right? I went over in depth on a video on whoever, you know, all these people in here. Now, Nita would be on the list of mythics that I would like to acquire after I get Lucaea to exclusive three, depending on what team I actually have set up when I am at that position. So what I mean by this is, for example, if I have things like Walter, if I have things like Mello, then I would go for Nita. But at the moment, I have none of these except for Turf. And I think Turf is probably the, well, honestly, I might take Turf over Taff sometimes, um, but honestly, I think Taff is a little bit better. I think I think Turf is probably the worst of all these five um, for the Poison Comp, which means that uh, I'm out of luck right now. But I'm interested in having some fun. So we're gonna go for this summon. We're gonna try to pick up Mello is our goal. That's gonna be our goal. So we're gonna drop her in the wish. Um, I'm gonna see if I can grab her because I'm pretty excited. Walter would be a pretty big one for me as well. We also have a bunch of things going on, everyone. We have the double Dragon Cliff drops. So if you guys have not gone ahead and max this out, do so. 20 attempts is a lot of energy. Um, which is uh, 60 energies. We got 20 attempts, which is 10, 600 per, so 600 times 20, which is a lot. That's, uh, you know, 12,000 energy. So it's like the hefty chunk. I got myself um, 6K stamina on me, and then I also have the battle pass that I'm gonna be able to complete uh, a little bit onwards, right? We got some energy that we're gonna pick up here. It's gonna be pretty nice. Hopefully you all are kind of in that same position. Because I know it's very, very, uh, I guess, intensive in terms of energy costs. Woo! It really is. I, I heard some rumor about them reducing potentially the Dragon Cliff energy. I don't know where that rumor came about. I don't know what the source is. I just heard it. I don't think that they'll ever do that. I'm going to be honest. I don't think they'll ever do it. But, you know, maybe I'm just being pessimistic and that's something that they'll do. Let me know if you guys have heard that rumor and you know where that kind of, uh, I guess, surfaced from. You also have the classic arena competition. Quick tip for you guys here. Um, if you guys are like me and you wanted to make sure you're being efficient with all your resources, but you didn't want to cap out, this timer is games based, meaning it's going to give you 30 uh, energy at the 38 minute mark, even if you cap out, right? So let's say you get to 10, it's going to give you that energy at the 38 minute mark. It's not going to reset your timer, at least from what I've found out. Pretty cool little tip there um, for you all. It's just, uh, just a fun one that I've been using myself if you guys care about trying to you know, not waste any arena tickets. But with that said, let's go for our Miracle Summons. Now that we've gone over everything that's going on in the game, and uh, let's just go for it. Here we go, 10 pull. Got some quests completed. Very, very nice. And starting off with the, oh, one of the new epics, actually. Um, I don't believe she is the newest one. This is Isabel. I think she was a couple weeks ago. The light target uh, ability with Little bit of a cooldown resetting and aoe um attack up while also doing an aoe pretty interesting definitely a cool character i think and uh, she looks really cool she looks really really cool i wish um wish she was a little bit better but i think she's really really cool definitely definitely someone that i i think is one of the cooler characters in the game next temple here another epic in guna Nothing too special there. Come on, next temple, we're gonna go. We got a sin off. Okay, someone I've been actually keeping track of and um, I'm pretty excited about getting a couple copies of her. Bisley, okay. We haven't even gotten another epic. It's only just been the epic at every temple. There we go. You can play in a little bit and they're gonna drop you some. Um, we got uh, Sedora and we got Pacino. I like Pacino, he's pretty good. Ooh, we got the new epic. Okay, so, you know, I guess we got something here. Here's Hados. He actually looks pretty cool as well. Double hammer look. Um, I guess we could check out his multipliers um, and his percentages. A 25% chance doubled, so 50% chance. 35% extra crit rate. Yikes. I really don't like him. <laughs> I don't like him. I don't like him at all. Um, let's keep going, though. I actually, you know what I wanted to try? I wanted to test something. We're going to finish off these summons. And someone mentioned that uh, 
They might have taken away the Miracle Summons for diamond purchasing in the shop. Ooh, a Lester. Okay, more food. <laughs> we don't need any Epic in the game. Don't need any Epic. Three more miracle, miracle Summons here, and we are done. We are over. It's over. Nothing too crazy coming out of these Miracle Summons, guys. 66, was it? We got basically nothing. Got just a couple of Epics for food. Got some of the new Epics, I guess. Um, which is pretty cool. And maybe... Ooh, wait a second. If I got my gallery, we'll, we'll summon a legendary here if uh, if I progress my gallery and got my Supreme Wish. Ooh, no way. We are three points away. Look at this, guys. We are three points away. Three points. Oh, I would have summoned that Supreme Wish if we had gotten that. Dang it. Dang it. All right, hold on. I have to check... Um, I have to check the... Miracle Summons if I wanted to buy it. So as you can see here, it looks like it's still in the game. I was a little curious about that, but uh, I guess that's pretty much all I got for you in terms of summons. I know that wasn't that exciting, but if you guys are interested in a poison comp, I actually think, I think people underrate poison comps insanely, insanely hard. Oh, I guess I got two more summons here, we'll pull. But some people are like really underestimating poison comps, I think, because with the damage reduction that they're providing, they can be exceptionally strong especially if you run in with somebody like luna on top of them as a support with like a little bit of revive because luna can provide that attack down very consistently which means you're going to get the damage reduction and the attack down so if it's multiplicative you know let's say it's 40 percent plus 40 percent that's going to be you know uh they're gonna do 60 percent damage right and then 40 percent of 60 is another 24 percent so you're going to get a total of 64% damage redu reduction from the boss, um, which is pretty big. That's huge, right? Again, that might not, that's not like perfect math, but 36% damage off from the boss is a big deal. So I think people sleep on poison comps a ton. And I think the combination of like Luna plus Nita plus Walter, something like that, plus Mello in there as well. And then maybe even run a fifth support like Catherine would be great in that last slot. Um, I think you got a really, really nice potential there for a lot of things, which is why I wanted to summon on this wish event. And I actually recommend that you all um, do so as well if you are interested in going for a poison comp, because there's probably not going to be a better miracle summon uh, for poisons. So if that's something that you're interested in and you want to do, then go for it. I'm kind of on the mindset of I'm no longer in like this trying to min max everything going for the correct path mindset, which is what I usually am in a lot of games. I feel like this game is so long-term that I'm just trying to enjoy the game. I don't know if anyone else feels that way recently, but uh, you know, if I was being perfectly efficient, I probably wouldn't have summoned for the Miracle Summons. I probably would have waited for like a copy of um, one of my dupes that I wanted or Nick to come back whenever he does. But I'm just over the mindset where I just, I wanna have fun. I wanna enjoy the game because I feel like the game is a little, a little stale, you know? There's there's just not a lot, like, there's no new content. You're, you're doing the same daily grind. Um, so just having fun maybe you try to build up some different comps like the poison comp but unfortunately i didn't get anything so hopefully your miracle summons went better if you guys decided to do so that's gonna be it that's for the hit for this video let me know what you all think about mellow by the way um i know i mentioned it on the previous video but for those of you that may not have watched that video or didn't leave a comment i want to know what your thoughts are on that character i think she's really really solid so hopefully you guys get her thanks for watching and i'll see you all tomorrow